As a moderator, it's your responsibility to ensure that the reviews that you're responsible for are progressing in a timely manner. That may mean gently prodding your participants or making changes based on feedback. You can see any active reviews that you're responsible for directly from the home page and you can navigate directly by clicking on the hyperlink. If necessary, you could choose to add additional moderators by clicking on the Add Moderator button at the top right hand corner, then selecting a person, and then clicking Update Moderators. You may also have the need to add additional participants to an open review. You can do so by clicking on Add Participant, then looking for that person's name. So let's add Rebecca. Once I check this, this will make her a new approver. And when I click Add Participants, she will be notified via email. From the reading view in the review, I can see a tally mark of the comments, approvals, and rejections of all of the various items that have been voted on by my participants by scrolling through. I also can see this information by clicking on the Stats tab. When I click on the Stats tab and look at participant progress, I'll see a breakdown based on the participant's role, approver or reviewer. In this case, you can see I have approved and signed, requested new or in progress as available statuses, and for a reviewer, I have either finished or in progress. When I scroll down, I can see the status based on the participant, how many items they've completed, and what is still pending at any given time. If I click on the item progress, I can see a breakdown based on the actual items. I can also see the number of comments or votes if that has been enabled. From the feedbacks tab, I have the ability to review all of the content and dialogue that my various participants have been having amongst themselves. I could choose to apply a filter to, let's say, look for any open items. Let's say I look at proposed changes. When I do so, I have the ability to at mention a participant to ensure that they've seen this requirement. So let's say I'd like to at mention Sarah to make sure that she's seen this. When I at mention her, she will receive an email notification as, long, as well as a hyperlink that will bring her directly to this record. In my role as a moderator, from time to time, I also have the responsibility of making edits to items. I could do so by navigating to the single item view of the item then clicking on edit item. When I do so, let's say for instance, in this case, I want to um, clinically and at home. Let's say I'd like to change this rationale. I could choose to notify people. In this case, I won't. And now when I save and close, you will see that those changes are not immediately being reflected here in the rationale. If I click on view edits, though, I'll be able to see in a red line, green line comparison what those changes were. But you will note that this item is now showing that it has been edited. But in order for my participants to see this, I would first have to publish a new revision. It's your responsibility as a moderator to determine an appropriate cadence for publishing new revisions of a review based on your organizational needs. That could be daily, every other day, or weekly. But my participants will not be able to see the changes until I publish a new version. Now that a new version has been published, all of the participants in the review will receive an email notification alerting them that changes have been made that they need to come in and review. It's important to note that even though changes have been made, I can review previous versions of an item by toggling from the drop-down list. 
I also have the ability to compare versions, say for instance, version eight to version three, which would show me a red line, green line version. It's also important to note that at any given time when content is sent to Review Center or a new version is published, that a baseline is created. This baseline is a snapshot in time which will show the content exactly as it existed at a particular state in time. After all of the feedback from my review participants has been gathered, I now have the ability to close this review for feedback. When I close the review for feedback, it will prevent my participants from continuing to add comments, review, approve, or reject any content. This will give me an ability from an administrative perspective to come in and be able to look at my item progress. And based on the feedback that I have, I now can come in and perform a batch transition of the workflow status. So by selecting a few different items, then selecting actions, I could choose to batch transition the workflow to move these items from review into accepted. Once I have changed all of the workflow statuses and performed all of my administrative tasks, I now have the ability to come in and finalize my approval review. When I do this, this will close my review and the baseline will be finalized. But please note, if ever needed, you have the ability to archive or reopen a review if necessary.